Chloe Agnew, how are you doing? How are you doing, pal? Happy New Year to you. And likewise, likewise. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Did you have a nice break? I did, as as nice as it could be. It was a strange one this year, you know. Yeah. I think many people all over the world, it was it was a strange one. But I'm thankful mm. to, to be with family and, and uh, yeah, it was a nice one. Very low-key, very, very different. What about yourself? Yeah, totally the same. We were hoping to go back to Ireland, but unfortunately, with with all the cancellations of ferries and flights, that we couldn't do that. So it was it was a surreal one for sure. But uh, do you know, yeah. I mean, Christmas is normally in the past. As much as I love Christmas, um, it's a really strange one to go from. Normally, you're exhausted at the end of Christmas, trying to see everyone and yeah. itinerary when we go back to Ireland. Yeah. Uh, so now yeah. this year, where we are going for walks every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I know. Back- five things to do. Yeah. So, yeah, was, I, know. I felt like Christmas didn't even really happen and then I came home, I had to quarantine, do all of that. Of and course, yeah. I feel like I didn't get to see anything by the sparkly lights on that Christmas tree. <laughs> well, well, it looks great, Chloe. <laughs> oh, I get it, I get it. I know. And I, I can know. see a lot of people are joining us, which is great. And to anyone who is joining us, I hope they also had a nice Christmas break. And we are now in the year 2021 and exciting things are coming up in the few weeks ahead. And, and uh, I can't and wait. I really can't I wait for it all. Back onto the fly world again, which is really exciting. Glad to things are moving on ahead. Um, we've had a couple of questions over the last few Wild Atlantic fly chats that we've done. And I think just mm-hmm. to recap for everyone, to give you all the basics of why we're all here and what we're all looking forward to, um, yep. is our Wild Atlantic fly Festival, which is our online virtual festival, which is going to be happening between March 13th to the 17th. It's over five nights, over 60 different events. Can you believe different artists it's incredible i mean and there's there's more been added by the day of different musicians different people of all walks of life in ireland yep. of culture and tradition and um yeah it's, it's i know it's brilliant I, and i think the one thing that people are are still struggling to get their head around is that this ticket people are saying will i be able to see this artist or i like this artist or you know will this ticket get me access to everything and just if you're if you haven't bought a ticket now, or if you have bought it and you're wondering anything, that one ticket at the minute gets gets you entry to everything, everything that there is to see in the Wild Atlantic Flag. That one ticket will get you access to see. Now we have Tourism Ireland on as our official sponsor, which is incredible. And if anybody oh, yeah. hasn't had a chance yet, check out all the social media, various social media pages under the Wild Atlantic Flag, particularly here on Facebook, because. We've been feeding little bits of info about things you might not have known about beautiful places in Ireland. There's, I even saw the other day, there's a fantastic recipe for Colcannon, which has just gone up. I saw that. I saw that myself. I've always been a big, big fan of Colcannon now, I have to admit. Yeah, you wouldn't, or you would? No, I would. Yeah, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it, yeah. I want to try this recipe a try so and so there's yeah. lots of like stuff about our culture and our tradition that's going up on the social media pages and will be over the coming weeks too so keep an eye Absolutely. out and the last time just before we left for christmas we also mentioned about a young youth talent search as well yeah. which is something that i was really excited to hear about in the flab because it's such a great platform for any aspiring musician to be a part of it as well uh so what we thought we would include in this fla is is an opportunity for anyone 18 years or younger to pretty much be showcased as part of the lineup so chloe maybe you can mention some of the the well, great i've got a couple of messages and comments from people on my various social media pages who are all yep. excited and 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 Young kids were all looking forward to entering and they wanted to know who is eligible to enter. So as I said, anyone who's under the age of 18 years of age, who has artistic sides of themselves, they want to show off and would like an opportunity like the Wild Atlantic Flat to be able to do that, this is a perfect opportunity. So we're taking groups and solo artists. Um, we're gonna do anything from trad to contemporary music. If you're original music, that's even better, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Anything that has, an Irish influence to it. We would love you to be able to submit your videos, your talent by Valentine's Day. By Valentine's February. Day. And we will be picking one lucky person to join us, yeah. which is very exciting. And the good news as well, 
is that choirs are also eligible. People were asking about choirs, and choirs are in fact eligible, which yep. is so. Which and kind of leads us on to as well. I mean, exactly yeah. speaking of choirs, we thought. We were trying to to think about a, an appropriate way to finish the chat. Now, just to warn people, we're not finishing the chat just yet. But when the time does come around to finish it, uh, we thought it being New Year's that there's in particular at least a. Uh, and I did that these guys are included in the flow as well because I had incredibly happy heart. memories. Yeah. Very close, because I mean, not only was I a member of the UCD Chorus Scholars, but all of my family were as well. You know, my four brothers at different stages, uh, you know, were, were also members of the UCD Chorus Scholars. So uh, Dr. Desmond Early, uh, you know, does an amazing job with the, with the Chorus Scholars. Anyone who's part of UCD and hasn't heard of them or is interested in singing, I would absolutely recommend to join the Chorus Scholars. And they are going to be part of this FLA as well. They've released what? very recently a, a Christmas album, Be All Merry. And, and part of that album is Auld Lang Syne, which we thought, what better way to wrap up a New Year's chat what than? They are honestly, I'm not just saying this because I know you and all the Keegans were a big part of it for years, but they are without a doubt one of my favorite choirs in the whole world. I was so excited Terrible. when I saw that they were added to this lineup. I actually got to see your brother oh, in right. the Scholars last year in New York City. So my dad is actually featured on the Corangle, um on on a couple of their albums, which is amazing. Yep. He is a feature soloist. And he came out to New York to see them perform. And they performed in like Carnegie Hall last year. They performed in the yep. Irish Heritage Center. It was an incredible week for them in New York. Um, and I flew up to see them. And I was excited to see my dad. But it was an even bigger surprise to, to see your own brother there as well. I so, know. My brother Mark is of the choir. My parents went over. My granddad yeah, went over as well to see them. So and, they and came back the raving about it. That they create is just, it's incredible. And it is it showcases Irish music in a in a choral setting in the most beautiful beautiful way so i'm really excited about the festival and looking forward to that video coming up yeah so we'll wrap it up there today with that. our special but, guests absolutely i mean i'm really excited to chat with this guy he's a very close friend of both of ours uh an exceptionally talented man uh, i could talk to him all day will we bring him out I th yeah, I think there's nobody that this man hasn't worked with as well, which is incredible. Know, yeah. <laughs> and it's like he's worked, and everybody has worked with him from orchestras to Irish musicians to international musicians. It's incredible. It's time it's for our friend. David so, Monroe. Let's bring him out. David Monroe, how are you doing? Greetings. Hello there. Great Thank to you. have you, David. I love, I love how everyone has the sparkles in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Happy I know. New Year, guys. Happy New Year, David. We're we're trying our best to mind your beloved Glasgow over here. So uh, oh, it's, yeah. it's doing all right. I love but <laughs> it's great to have you on board to talk about your roles. Well, Suppose before we we jump into uh, to to um, maybe you could tell the watchers and listeners. I'm, I'm, am I losing Colin Keegan? Is it me or is, is my internet? No, he's, he's cutting out. But listen, I, I'll, I'll do, in, in oh, the meantime, sorry. I'll do a rundown. I'll do a rundown of, of who we have so far in, in the uh, Wild Atlantic Flat. Uh, Chloe, you mentioned um, rightly so that a, 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 a festival is like a, a snowball. As soon as you get a couple of big names, everybody wants to join it. And so we're not, we're not saying this is a definite lineup list. Uh, because it's going to be added to uh, as the as the months go on. But right now, uh, we are absolutely thrilled to have uh, Joni Madden, Cherish the Ladies. Uh, I mean, they are a, a super group, uh, and I've seen them many times in my beloved Glasgow uh, yeah. at the Celtic Connections Festival, and they are fantastic. So we're looking forward to welcoming them. I'll not be working directly with them uh, obviously, the world is in a, a strange place just now with lots of restrictions and things that we can't do. And uh, I, they've they've isolated themselves, and they're going to come up with with a, a a set by themselves because they will stay in their own little bubble. But oh, cherished ladies, so we are we are delighted to have them. Uh, another big name. It's actually quite a short name. I think it's only seven letters and six letters. Nathan Carter. <laughs> it's a medium name. <laughs> but a big name in the music scene. Nathan Carter uh, yeah. is going to be joining us as well. Uh, he 
I mean, I think he's got as many albums out as Celtic Thunder, and he is a fantastic talent and uh, a, a lovely young man as well. Uh, so he'll be entertaining us for one of the evenings. And uh, we have Michael Londra, who, if any any of you were on Celtic Thunder's second cruise, Michael was a, a guest there with us as well. Uh, he's no stranger to Celtic Thunder audiences and uh, a wonderful Irish crossover artist. So we will be working with him. Um, uh, Chloe, I believe you've got a show as well, haven't you? I do indeed. I have a set as well, part of the festival, and our wonderful Colin Keegan has one too, which is exciting. That's, that's we great. Couldn't, yeah. We couldn't really have one without you, without you, the <laughs> presenters there. <laughs> yeah, it's like going back to the 30s where the presenters could do everything. You, could, you can sing, dance, and you've got to do everything. <laughs> yeah. David, is there anyone on this festival that you're looking forward to that you have? Because you worked with everybody that is anybody out there in the world. Is there anybody who you're looking forward to seeing perform their set, whether you're working with them or not on the festival, but just having them involved? I know you've mentioned the likes of Cherish and Nathan. And is there no, there's there? no, no one at all. No, you're not. Like I'm, only, <laughs> I'm only kidding. I can't <laughs> wait. I'm, I, 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 I'm we watch Netflix that week. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to Kevin Lightford and Phelan Drew would they be in your Phelan Drew. Yeah, but the, see the problem is um unless they're doing something uh, we're all having to isolate in, in different pockets. Right. Uh, we'll be working on stage with just the musicians. So I'm afraid uh there'll be uh, parts of the, the musical enterprise which I will have to go and visit in person in another studio somewhere okay. else. So it's, that's the way it's got to be. We've got to keep everyone separate. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to working with Nathan Carter and a new act, uh, Emma Langford from, from Limerick, yeah. who's been on the scene for about three years now. She's picked up many awards and uh, her Brilliant. new album, Sewing Acorns, is incredible. Sewing Acorns. It's just right. beautiful. Right. And that's the thing I think there's because there's going to be different locations as well that each of the acts are going to be on as well. There's three different stages, which we mentioned last that's time. Right. The main stage is the big one. Then we've got the pub setting, which is brilliant. That's going to entail not just music, but but storytelling and cooking and and you know, plenty of things to go along there. And then the Wild Atlantic Club as well, which is more of an acoustic setting. So the viewers are going to catch all of these artists and, and acts in, in different locations, which is great. Um David, you're not just bringing music to the festival, right? I was just going to mention, Chloe. I'm glad you brought it up. That's where you're going. <laughs> I'm just, I thought, sorry, I missed that. You just broke up on me. I, you're not, I'm not just bringing what? Oh, sorry, I've, I've my, my internet has got it covered in and out, so it's the oh. worst possible time. But uh, yeah, so it's not just the music that you're bringing to the table, David. That there's also going to be some of your visual art that's going to be on on uh, presentation as well, and and perhaps you could maybe talk a, a little bit to the listeners who are joining us now about that side of your work as well. Um, yeah, uh, I I have worked uh, in visual art for probably about. 15 to 20 years now and it, to be honest it was just a hobby it, I, I just uh, picked up a pencil one day and you know and was able to get a fairly close likeness I like authenticity and uh, the, the hyper realists fascinate me because they go into minute detail uh, to get things just right and I went to Germany and took some lessons with a a German artist called D Jamirsky, wow. and he encouraged me. But like like most artists, they're not content with being able to draw perfectly. They want to have something to say. So mm. um, in my struggle to have something to say, uh, right now I'm focusing on hands. I think hands are beautiful. Wow. Hands are, are, uh, <laughs> Colin, we had this conversation on, on a podcast fairly recently. We did. Uh, but, but hands to me represent work much more than a face, much more than a, a, you know, a jacket or a blouse that you can throw on because that's acquired. Your hands tell the real story of your life. Wow. And uh, I, I'm, I'm working on a project where I will have some famous people, some not so famous people, and just a drawing of their hands and there'll be a list of who the people are, and it's up to the viewers to work out who they are by looking at their hands. Hands are also very honest. 
you can't put makeup in a hand. Yeah, true, true. They um, tell yeah. stories. That's fantastic, yeah. David. So where can people find some of your art right now? Where can they check it out online, David? On your website? On my website, uh, da- da- rather confusingly, David Monroe Music. <laughs> <dot com. laughs> so that's not really helpful, I know. But if you go into David Monroe Music, there is there is an art page. and uh, Fantastic. I don't, I'm looking in the background. I, I think if I go this way, oh, there we go. Yeah, they open the wall. Okay, I, I, let, let me bring myself portrait over. Yes, let's see this. How fantastic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is incredible. I mean, if you haven't seen it already, so this is a, it's, this is, it's uh, oh my God. People oh my ask, God. will I do a self portrait? Well, there it is. No one's, well, no it, one's interested in my face. Colm, you're the, you're the, you're the model. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see me. <laughs> well, just a minute, if if anyone is joining us live now, if, if that's one of the questions of guests, match the hands with the uh, with the person, we've just been given the first answer anyway, that that's your hands. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will withdraw it from the exhibition immediately. <laughs> so it's a big thrill. It's great fun having two... Uh, Two different uh, artistic forms to work in, uh, since music seems to be slowing down uh, with mm. the, the recent uh, crisis. Uh, it will get going again, hopefully by the end of next year. But uh, I mean, I've always been able to fall back on on art and do things there, so it's it's really lovely for me. It doesn't feel like there's been a gap. I've just jumped into doing some um, some commissions or some drawings. So, well, I think, th- and this is what I love about the festival is that it's it gives platforms for you know it, it's hard in just a, a Celtic Thunder tour or just anyone's show to try and showcase all of these different so- sides that that these artists have. That this festival now is going to showcase multiple different forms of the arts that people are involved in, and uh, so what better way to to use the online format than to give this opportunity for our viewers to to see something that they wouldn't get a chance to see live in an ordinary year. So it's great. Well, I mean, you guys are very lucky. You grew up in and around Dublin. And you must have seen the St. Patrick's Day Festival going through Dublin many times. Mm. And uh, for, for anyone who's who has not seen it, it's an amazing experience. And um, when I moved to Dublin about 10 years ago, I, I went along to see it. And I could not believe the number of American bands that were there. It was, it was like it was like the New York parade had come to yeah. Dublin. Yeah. And I, I just couldn't believe uh, that 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 all these bands, pipe bands, marching bands, uh, dancing troops had all made the trip over, found hotels, uh, and all of the hassle of moving uh, young people and children around the world and adults. Uh, but the, the good thing about the FLA for me is it feels like America. You you're so good to us. You come over every St Patrick's Day and you you boost the St. Patrick's Day Festival. You can't do it this year. So we're doing our best to try and make something that will come to you. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. On that note, David, thank you so much for for joining Chloe and I today. A very happy new year and I cannot wait. Please God to see it in in person uh, as soon as we possibly can anyway. And uh, and anyone who wants to pick up a ticket for the FLA, which is what we're we're talking about um, each Friday, you can go over to the website um, and you can get, as we've spoken about, the one ticket, which is going to give you access to all of this, the wildatlanticfla.com. David, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Good Goodbye, Chloe. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye Colm. Bye. Bye. We're going to leave you all with the UCD Chorus Scholars and their appropriately uh, titled and version of, of Old Lang Syne. So hope you all enjoy it. Chloe, great to see you again. Happy New Year, friends. Happy New Year. See you next week. Take care, folks.